we're living in an era where everybody claims to be a Canadian immigration consultant or lawyer. The onus lies on you to do proper and professional checks before hiring any of them or parting with your hard-earned money. Hello, welcome to another amazing episode on Canada Migrate. If this is your first time on our channel, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification icon to be alerted anytime we upload a video. By way of welcoming you, there are thousands of people out there who are claiming to be Canadian immigration consultants or lawyers, but are not. In fact, securing the services of a Canadian immigration consultant or lawyer sounds simple, but it's not as simple as that. You must do your due diligence in order not to fall into the hands of fraudsters or scammers. Why do you need the service of an immigration consultant or lawyer? Getting the service of an immigration consultant or lawyer isn't mandatory, but it offers you a great option if you desire professional guides on your application. One of the importance of getting the service of a Canadian lawyer or consultant is that it takes the pressure off you. Your money works for you. They not only give guidance, but they also prepare documents and submit applications. That being said, to avoid falling into the wrong hands, you can either work with a recommended consultant or lawyer who has worked with someone you are familiar with or ask the immigration lawyer or consultant the following questions. 1. What is your ROCIC registration number or provincial bar association listings? One of the requisites for all paid Canadian representatives is a license. To work as a Canadian immigration lawyer, you must have a proper license. Don't hire any immigration lawyer or consultant without the requisite credentials and license. Canadian immigration consultants must have ROCIC numbers as proof that they are in good standing with the College of Immigration and Citizenship Consultants, CICC. With this number, you can verify their status. Two, how long is our contract? Does it cover the entire immigration process or just a part? Before signing a contract or retainer agreement, ensure you know the duration of your contract and the stated anticipated processing time of your intended immigration program. This is very vital considering the fact that each immigration stream has varying processing time. For example, the family class alternatively called the spousal sponsorship processing time is 12 months. It will be wrong for you to sign a six months retainership with the immigration lawyer or consultant. For express entry, some lawyers will charge you one fee for creating a profile and an entirely new fee for application after your ITA. You have to ensure you sign a contract that covers everything. Three, what is your payment structure and the total cost of your services? Don't hire a consultant or lawyer you can't afford. Like I earlier said, it's not mandatory to hire a consultant if the financial cost or requirement is not available. It is better to know the cost of their service for the person you intend to hire. You could even do your check and balance by comparing several of them and their cost of services. 4. Have you handled a case like mine before? What is your success rate? Yes, it is very important to know if the person you are about to hire has handled a case similar to yours in the past. Being an immigration consultant or lawyer does not necessarily translate to him handling all types of immigration cases. 5. Considering the fact that I am not in Canada, how can we stay in touch? Communication is very important. You must ask this question, considering the fact that both of you may be in different time zones. 6. Which immigration program may be right for me and why? Before you sign a contract, it's expected of you to ask the immigration lawyer the immigration program that best suits you and why. It's expected of the representative to explain the reason for their prescribed immigration program. 7. What are my chances of success through this program? An immigration officer can't give a 100% guarantee. However, you should be able to explain in clear terms your chance of qualification. The immigration officer will also tell you what to do to improve your CRS score if you are using the Express Entry Program. I hope you enjoyed this video and it answered all the questions in your heart. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, now will be the best time to click on the subscribe button below and turn on the bell icon to be notified anytime we upload a video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.